Okay, welcome back to the lecture on Fourier series. And in the last lecture, we have discussed Fourier series representation of a function of period uh, 2L in general, or we were talking about the functions of period 2 pi as well. So, if a function is periodic of period 2L, then its Fourier series will be given by a 0 by 2 and it is a constant which will depend on the function. So, here 0 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x over L plus b n sin n pi x over L and where these coefficients. So, a n 1 over L minus L 2 L f x cos n pi x over L d x at k uh, of this n here. So, n 0 1 2 and so on and this b n 1 over L minus L 2 L f x sin n pi x over L d x and this n was 1 2 and all. And then we have seen that if this function f x is uh, piecewise continuous and one sided derivatives of f exist at each point in the in the domain, then we have the series equal to. So, we have the f x plus the right limit of f at x and f x minus divided by 2 and this is equal to that series if the function is piecewise continuous and one sided uh, derivatives exist and they are finite. So, then we have this series converges and that the value of the series is equal to the to the average value uh, of the function at that point. And we have also mentioned that at the point of continuity since uh, there we have x f x plus is equal to f x and that is equal to f x minus 1. So, at the point of continuity this is simply f x. So, that series con converges to the point uh, to the functional value. So, now we continue with the more examples and the first example uh, I consider here it is expand f x is equal to sin x in a Fourier series. So, now if we see this function, what we observe, so it is 0 to pi and so on it is a modulus. So, we do not have the negative part. So, now there are two possibilities to uh, get this Fourier series uh, of this problem, because we can uh, see here that this uh, pi. So, is the period of the function, because it repeats the same value after this pi. So, we can work out in this interval 0 to pi and taking this uh, pi as a period of this function or the second possibility is as the standard case we take. So, we take here minus pi to pi interval and consider this 2 pi as its period, because we can take uh, anyway this 2 pi uh, also a period, because after the 2 pi also the function values, uh, the function uh, repeats its values. So, what we do these two possibilities we will consider and see and, and definitely we will uh, get the same series of course, at the end. So, let us just to make it more clear let us just continue with the case 1. So, that means we work with the function. So, we treat this uh, treat f x as a function of period pi and we work in the interval and take the interval uh, 0 to pi. And that is a good point to, to discuss that we should not always uh, I mean it is not necessary to work with always with the symmetric interval minus pi to pi. So, we can also work with any interval. So, we take here 0 to pi and then this f x 
the general Fourier series a 0 by 2 n 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x over l plus b n sin n pi x over l and this was the series for a function of period 2 l. So, a n as 1 over l minus l 2 l in general case and cos uh, n pi x over l d x or we can take uh, also 1 over l 0 to 2 pi because the periodic function. So, we integrate in any uh, range with uh, length 2 pi or 2 l sorry 2 l it will be the same. So, f x cos n pi x over l and d x or this b n similarly we have 1 over l 0 to l 0 to 2 l 0 to 2 l and f x sin n pi x over l d x. So, in this case which we are considering now our 2 l is our the period period uh, uh, is taken in this form uh, 2 l and that is pi. So, basically what we have l is pi by 2. So, now we can uh, we calculate a 0 first. So, this a 0 will be 1 over and l l is pi by 2. So, pi by 2 and we have 0 to 2 l that is mean pi and f x d x. So, we have 2 over pi and 0 to pi f x is sin x. So, 0 to pi this mod sin x is positive. So, we have sin x d x and that value is minus cos x and 0 to pi. So, cos pi minus 1 and a minus is there already. So, 1 and minus minus uh, 1 will be again 2. So, we have 4 over pi this value. Now, we calculate the a n. So, a n as 2 over pi again the same 1 over l factor is there and 0 to 2 pi will come with this function sin x and cos 2 n x d x. So, then we have 1 over pi and this 2 sin x cos 2 n x we write in sin a plus b forms side 2 n plus 1 x sin a plus b and then plus sin a minus b, but we will take b minus a. So, with sin we will get minus sin. So, sin 2 n minus 1 x and d x we integrate now. So, we have sin x that is cos with minus sin 2 n plus 1 x over 2 n plus 1 and the limit 0 to pi and we have here 2 n minus 1 x over 2 n minus 1 and again 0 to pi. So, we have 1 over pi and then when we put this pi here we get minus 1 over keep minus 1 power 2 n plus 1. So, we have with minus and minus 2 n plus 1 over 2 n plus 1 and then minus minus plus cos 0 will be 1. So, over 2 n plus 1 similarly here we have minus 1 2 n minus 1 over 2 n minus 1 and we have minus then 1 over 2 n minus 1. This we can simplify and this after simplification because this is 2 n plus 1. So, always a odd number here. So, we will get minus. So, we have here then plus and similarly here this 2 n. So, n is uh, 1 2 and so on. So, here again we have always uh, the odd numbers will get minus. So, minus 2 over 2 n minus 1 and here we will get 2 over 2 n plus 1 and then the further simplification. So, we will get minus 4 over pi and for n square minus 1 for n square minus 1. So, now we calculate b n we have 2 over pi 0 to pi and we have sin x and sin 
2 n x d x again we take 1 over pi 0 to pi 2 sin x. So, sin a sin b we have cos a minus b. So, cos or b minus a is the same. So, we write in this form 2 n minus 1 x and minus cos a plus b. So, 2 n plus 1 x and then we have this d x and now the, the integral will be the sin 2 n minus 1 x and here also sin and the sine function when we take this uh, x is equal to pi or we take 0 it will be 0. So, the value we will get 0 then the Fourier series a naught by 2. So, a naught was 4 by pi. So, we have 2 over pi and we have n 1 to infinity minus 4 over pi and 4 n square minus 1 cos 2 n x. So, this is 2 over pi minus 4 over pi and n from 1 to infinity cos 2 n x over 4 n square minus 1 and this x was 0 to pi. So, now we take the second approach and in the second approach we have so if we would have taken have taken second possibility second possibility that is the period this 2 l 2 pi. So, we take again minus uh, pi to pi the standard interval and we will get here n is equal to pi. In this case again this f x a 0 by 2 1 to infinity and we have this standard series in this interval. So, n x plus b n sin n x and this a n is 1 over pi minus pi to pi f x cos n x d x and b n is 1 over pi and minus pi to pi f x sin n x d x. Okay, let us just uh, see first this b n because this f x is a odd uh, even function and we have here the odd function. So, this was even function we will come to this point in a minute uh, more into the detail and this is the uh, odd function because sin minus x is minus sin x and here sin or f minus x is f x. So, it is cos x then the product will be anyway an odd function. So, the integrand is odd and we are integrating over the symmetric interval minus pi to pi. So, this value will be 0 without uh, further calculations. So, now this a is not we can calculate 1 over pi and minus pi to pi minus pi to pi and we have this f x d x and in this case also let me just uh, simplify this that this a n will be uh, because it is a here even function even function. So, the product is even. So, minus uh, so, uh, pi to pi will be 2 times uh, 0 to pi and we have this f x and cos n x d x. So, this is 2 over pi 0 to pi and this is sin x only d x. So, this cos x and then we have uh, this value uh, cos pi you know, minus and with the minus sign we will get again the 2 out of this integral. So, we will get 4 over pi and then a n 2 over pi 0 to pi sin x cos n x d x which we can uh, integrate. So, I am writing directly this values and these values will come for n 2 3 and so on. So, will be 1 over pi times the 0 if n is odd and this will come 2 over n plus 1 minus 2 over n minus 1 when n is even and this is true for 2 3 and so on. So, again for a 1 we need to calculate and that is 2 over pi 0 to pi sin x cos x d x. So, this 2 times sin x cos will be sin 2 x then cos 2 x over 2. So, this will be 
again 0. So, what will be the Fourier series in this case? So, what we have here finally, this is 2 n minus 2 and minus 2 n uh, minus 2. So, we have minus 4 over n square minus 1. So, if we write this Fourier series now, we have f x 2 over pi minus 4 over pi and we have cos 2 x over 3 plus cos 4 x over 15 plus cos 6 x over 35 and so on. So, this Fourier series and the Fourier series we got by treating this function of period pi, they both are basically uh, the same. It is just if we expand this, so minus 4 over pi will come and then we have n is equal to 1. So, cos 2 x over a 3, then the second term we have n is equal to 2. So, 4 x over uh, 16 minus 1 15 and so on. So, it is the same Fourier series what we get here. So, here what we have seen that we can work with uh, any general integral not uh, always uh, the symmetric interval. So, now we go for the another important point here which partially we have discussed in this example that the Fourier series for even and odd functions for even and on odd functions. So, again just to remind a function is said to be even if we have f minus x is equal to f x for all x and an odd function if we have f x is equal to minus f x for all x. So, in this case what will happen just let us uh, consider this Fourier series a naught by a 2 n 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x with the standard in period 2 pi and then we have this a n 1 over pi minus pi 2 pi f x cos n x d x and now what will happen here because we have actually we can say always that when we have a even function and it is multiplied by even function we will get even function only and we have even function and odd functions we will get odd or odd into even or we have odd and odd. So, again the minus minus will be positive. So, we have the even function. So, with this consideration what we see here that f x is if f is even then we have even 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 function. So, we have the integral value 2 over pi and we can integrate simply 0 to pi f x cos n x d x if f is even and if f is odd then this uh, will be a odd function and in that case this value will be 0 if f is odd. Similarly, for the coefficient p n. So, what we have for b n we have 1 over pi minus pi 2 pi and f x sin n x d x this will be 0 if f is even function because even into odd will be odd and so if f is even and this will give us 2 over pi 0 to pi f x sin n x d x if f is odd. So, in this case what we get if f is even function we are getting a simplified Fourier series and if f is even then the Fourier series. So, for the even case we have this b n 0 
So, we will get only uh, with the a's. So, a by 2 n 1 to infinity a n cos n x and these a n with the simplified formula we can calculate 0 to pi f x cos n x d x and 0 1 2 and so on. And the second case if f is odd and this is also clear from here this cos is uh, even function. So, if f is even function we will get only the combination of, of even functions on the right hand side. So, if f is odd the a n s will be 0 and we will get only the sign series. So, we have uh, the summation n from 1 to infinity b n and sin n x and this b n will be given by 2 over pi 0 to pi f x and sin n x d x. So, now we consider example with with this consideration. So, obtain the Fourier series uh, to represent f x which is given by x for 0 to pi and 2 pi minus x for pi to 2 pi and then the function is periodic. So, f x plus 2 pi is f x. So, the Fourier series will be given by a naught pi 2 and we have a standard period. So, n 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x and we have 4 x 0 to 2 pi. So, if we look at the graph of this function from 0 to pi we have this x and then 2 pi minus x. So, we have this and again with this we continue with this period 2 pi. So, we have here 0 here pi and then 2 pi and so on here minus pi. So, this a naught we can get with the 1 over pi and 0 to 2 pi f x d x 1 over pi 0 to pi we have the function x plus pi to 2 pi we do have 2 pi minus x d x and the simple integration will give us just pi the a n is 1 over pi and 0 to 2 pi f x cos n x d x and again we can break into the two intervals 0 to pi x cos n x d x plus pi to 2 pi and 2 pi minus x 2 pi minus x cos n x d x and again I will skip uh, these uh, simple calculations and we will get in this case it is 0 when n is even and we will get minus 4 over n square pi n square pi when n is odd. So, a we have calculated now we go for the b n and we no need to calculate b n because the function is the even function. So, we have even function f x is f minus x and in this case b n will be 0 without going for any calculation sin n x d x this will this will be 0 and therefore, we have this f x uh, is equal to pi by 2 minus 4 over pi cos x plus cos 3 x 3 square cos 5 x 5 square and so on. 
and our x is from 0 to 2 pi and note that we can write this equality because our function is continuous and the function is, is continuous then this average value is equal to f x. So, this series converges to the function value f x. Okay, so, let us go for another example and so, determine the Fourier series of f x is equal to x square and then find the value of the series and 1 to infinity minus 1 n plus 1 1 over n square and n 1 to infinity 1 over n square. So, let us continue with this first the so Fourier series of f x is equal to x square on minus pi to pi. So, in this interval we want to have the Fourier series of this f x uh, is equal to x square. So, if we look at this functions uh, parabola, so we have this from minus pi to pi. In this interval we are interested to get this Fourier series expansion of x square. So, to get this we have to extend or we have to uh, put a continuation uh, of this function to be periodic. So, we need to continue this as a periodic function and so on. And then we find the Fourier series and that will be of course, valid in this interval. So, since the function is an even function again, so clearly our b n will be 0 for all n. And now a n we can get, so 1 over pi minus pi to pi we have x square and cos n x d x and that will be again 2 over pi and 0 to pi x square cos n x d x. This we can find out, so 2 over pi and we have here the x square and sin n x over n the integral of this limits minus again this n will come and we have 0 to pi this 2 x and sin n x d x. So, if you would pi or 0 this is going to be 0 anyway. So, we have 2 over pi and this minus uh, 1 over n ok. So, 2 over pi and we take this 2 and this also outside. So, we have minus 2 over n and then we integrate again. So, we have x and cos n x over n with minus sign. So, this is 0 to pi and then we have with minus minus will be plus. So, 0 to pi x is 1 and we have cos n x over n d x and n should not be 0 and cannot be 0. So, for n is equal to 0 we have to calculate separately. So, we have minus 4 over n and we have minus pi and minus 1 power n. So, minus pi and minus 1 over n divided by n and put 0 it will be 0. So, we have again here 1 over n square because after integral we will get 1 over n sin n x. So, sin n x will be 0 at 0 and also at pi. So, we end up with this 4 plus and this minus 1 over n and over we get n square. Now, we calculate a 0. So, a 0 will be 1 over pi minus pi to pi 
x square d x and this is just uh, x cube over 3 and minus pi to pi and then we have this 2 pi square over 3 because pi cube will come and that will be cancelled with this pi. So, 2 pi square by 3. So, now we can write in that form. So, we have this a naught by 2. So, pi square by 3 and plus only the cosine terms. So, n 1 to infinity we have this 4 minus 1 over n our a n n square and we have cos n x 4 x minus pi to pi and again the function is continuous. So, we can have this equality of this series to x square. And now the question was that how to find this series. So, we have to get this minus 1 over n plus 1 1 over n is square. So, we are getting a similar series here the only point is this cos n x. So, if we put this x is equal to 0 we will get rid of this cos here. So, let us first put so this is series number 1. So, if we substitute if we substitute x is equal to 0. So, left hand side we have 0 we have pi square over 3 plus n 1 to infinity and x is 0 to cos 0 is 1 and we have 4 minus 1 n over n square and this will. So, we take to the other side this summation and 1 minus we can accommodate here. So, we get n 1 to infinity and minus 1 n plus 1 over n square and this 4 will go to the right hand side. So, we have pi square over 12. So, we got the sum of this series. So, the second question was so if we substitute x is equal to pi in 1 again. So, what we get left hand side we will get pi square we have pi square over 3 we have plus n 1 to infinity 4 over n square and we have minus 1 over 2 n because cos pi will give minus 1 power n and this is 1. So, we get n 1 to infinity and this 4 over n square or 4 we can also take to the right hand side. So, 1 over n square summation n to infinity 1 over n square will be just pi square minus pi square over 3. So, 2 pi square over 3 and then we have also this 4 there. So, that will be pi square by 6 then. So, this is the series of. So, that is also one application of this Fourier series where we can get the sum of the series. Now, we go to the uh, another topic of this uh, Fourier series uh, that is the half range series. And this is just motivated by this uh, sign or uh, this uh, even and odd functions. So, but in this case what we so let us let me write this suppose that this f x is a function defined on on 0 to L and also we want to find the cosine or sine series of f x. So, f x is defined in some interval and our aim is to have either cosine series or sine series of uh, that function. So, what we can do this for this. So, this can be done by extending f x 
to be an even or odd function. So, if we want to have the cosine series, we will extend that function as an even function or we want to have the sine series of that function, we will extend this as a odd function. So, suppose f x is equal to x is given in an interval 0 to pi. So, if you want to have the cosine series of this, so what we will do? So, we have this is the given function 0 to pi f x is given is equal to x. Now, if you want to write this x in terms of the cosines, what we will do? We will extend this as an odd function as an even function. So, this is and then make it periodic. So, we have minus pi to pi and we can make it then periodic. So, now this function is an even function, we can get the curve Fourier cosine series and that will be of course, valid for this f x is equal to x in this interval. And if you want to have the sine series of the same function for example, if you want to have sine series what we shall do. So, this was the function given in 0 to pi, we can extend this as an odd function and then make uh, this extension of this function. So, now we can write uh, this function uh, into sin a series form and that will be valid for this f x is equal to x in 0 to pi. So, let us just go for few examples in for this. So, obtain the half range sine series for f x is equal to e x defined in 0 to 1. So, we want to have sine series now. So, we need to go for the odd extension of this function. So, if this function is given here 0 to 1, we will get this odd extension of this function and then we continue with this uh, period minus 1 to 1 and we can then extend this as the peri as an periodic function and also in that side. So, clearly in this case since this is an odd extension of e power x in this 0 to x that is the given function that we have extended. We, if you want to have the cosine series, you would have extended as an odd function. So, in this case, since this is the odd extension, this a n will be 0 and b n we can get 2 over l 0 to l f x sin n phi x over l d x. So, in this case now our period 2 l is 2 from minus 1 to n that is the period that means this l is 1. So, this b n is 2 over 1. So, 0 to 1 e x and sin n pi x d x. So, this we integrate and we get b n 2 n pi 1 minus e minus 1 over n over 1 plus 
n square pi square so now for Uh, this x between 0 and 1 this e power x we can represent by that Fourier series. So, 2 pi and n 1 to infinity and we have this b n. So, we have n and min 1 minus e minus 1 over n over 1 plus n square pi square and we have sin n pi x. done. So, we now take an example where we expand f x is equal to x and x is given between 0 and 2 in a sign series and the same function as in cosine series. So, we take the first case the sine series that means we want to have the extension of this function 0 to 2 as an odd extension and then we continue with this period as a periodic function. So, in this case a n will be 0 and this b n be 2 over l 0 to l f x sin n pi x over l d x. So, 2 over 2 because our 2 l has 4. So, l is 2. So, we have 2 over 2 0 to 2 f x is x and we have sin n pi x over 2 d x. So, we integrate by parts. So, we have x and then this is cos n pi x over 2 and then we have this minus sign because the sign will give minus cos. So, minus 2 over n pi and 0 to 2 then we have minus 0 to 2 cos n pi x over l the differentiation of x is 1 we have cos n pi x over l and again minus 2 over n pi dx. So, this after simplification what we get minus 4 over n pi and cos n pi. So, if we then we get this Fourier series this sign Fourier series 1 to infinity minus 4 over n pi cos n pi sin n pi x over 2 and x is between 0 to 2. So, when we write this x between 0 to 2 we can write this equality and this is equal to x this is nothing else, but this is given as x. So, this is uh, 4 over pi if we expand this just to see what kind of form we are getting. So, pi x over 2 minus this half and sin 2 pi x over 2 then plus uh, 1 over 3 and we will here minus 1. So, this is plus anyway and then we have sin 3 pi x over 2 and minus and so on. So, now we take the second case. So, we extend now function this f x as an even function as an even function. So, in this case as discussed above. So, we will extend this as an even function and then this extension to periodic function. So, we have minus 2 to 2 as an even function in this case also our l is 2. So, now b n will be 0 and a n we can get in a similar fashion as we got there 2 over l 2 over 2 0 to 2 x cos n pi x over l 2 d x and we integrate this to get 4 over n square pi square and cos 
n pi that is minus 1 over n uh, minus 1 pi over n. So, for n not is equal to 0 and if we put n is equal take n is equal to 0 we will get 0 to 2 and x d x that means 2. So, in this case this f x will be or x is equal to 1 plus n 1 to infinity 4 over n square pi square cos n pi minus 1 and cos n pi x over 2 or we can expand this we will get cos pi x over 2 plus 1 over 3 square cos 3 pi x over 2 and 5 square cos 5 pi x over 2 and so on. So, now this is interesting to see that for the same function. So, we have taken this x uh, function which was defined in 0 to 0 to 2 uh, domain and we get for the same function this cosine series and that was uh, that is given here that is the cosine series this is also x is equal to this in this domain x from 0 to 2 and we also have this sine series for this function which is also valid in this x 0 to 2. So, for the same function x we have completely different expansion one is in the cos one another in the sine and both will equally uh, approximate this function in this domain. In fact, if we consider this series as a sum, so this sum is equal to x and this sum is also is equal to x for each x between 0 to 2. So, now we go to the last topic of this complex uh, of this Fourier series and that is the complex Fourier series or complex form of Fourier series. So, we consider f x a y 2 we start with the standard form we can also continue with this uh, uh, Fourier series of function of uh, period 2 L. So, a n cos n x plus b n and sin n x minus pi to pi and with a n we have 1 over pi minus pi to pi and this f x cos n x d x and n is 0 1 2 and we have this b n 1 over pi minus pi to pi f x and sin n x d x n is 1 2 3. So, what we know that this cos n x we can write with this Euler uh, formula E i n x plus E minus i n x by 2 and this sin n x E i n x minus E minus i n x over 2 i. Now, we substitute this in this equation 1 for this cos n x and this sin n x term. So, what we will get that f x is a naught over 2 n 1 to infinity we get a n for the cos we have e i n x plus m, uh, minus i n x over 2 plus this b n e i n x minus e minus i n x over 2 i. Then we have a naught by 2 n 1 to infinity and we take this uh, for i n x from here and from there common. So, we have half also a n and minus this i we can multiply. So, we get minus i b n. 
So, if we take half a n minus i b n and we will get uh, e i n x plus similarly there a n plus i b n e minus i n x. So, we take it as as we denote this by c naught and this we denote it c n a new constant for this we denote it k n because the n is equal to 0 we will see in a minute that we will get c uh, this a naught by 2. So, that is what here we name it c 0. So, with this notation what we have the f x is c naught plus n 1 to infinity c n e i n x plus k n minus i n x this is 2. Now, we also see what is the c n again half a n minus i b n and we substitute this a n and b n 1 over pi was coming there. So, 2 pi and minus pi to 2 pi f x here we will get cos n x here we will get sin n x. So, minus sin minus i sin n x d x and this again we can write minus pi to pi f x minus i n x d x. So, we can see that the c 0 is just 1 over 2 pi minus pi to pi f x d x. So, that is a naught by 2 that is what we have written and also this k n if we take this k n that is a n plus um, i b n. So, here plus will come and then we will have plus here. So, it is simply uh, c minus n. So, then this equation 2 becomes that this f x it is Fourier series in this form we have c 0 and 1 to infinity and we have c n i n x plus c minus n minus i n x or we can combine this and minus infinity to plus infinity and we take the c n e i n x. So, this will automatically cover these terms as well as this term and where our c n is to our Fourier series in this complex form for this f x is and minus infinity to plus infinity c n e i n x and this c n is 1 over 2 pi and minus pi to pi and we have f x i n x d x and is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on. So, this equation is called or this uh, form of the Fourier series is called Fourier series and this is called the Fourier coefficients of that complex form. So, if we have a period for uh, yeah for a function of period 2 L we have f x minus infinity to plus infinity c n i n pi x over l and where c n will be 1 over 2 l minus l 2 l f x minus i n pi x over l d x. So, we quickly now go for one example of this Fourier series and the complex form. So, if we take a function f x e power x and this x is between minus pi and pi and then we have this periodicity. So, in this case we calculate the c n that is 1 over 2 pi minus pi to pi our function and e minus i n x d x. So, we have 1 over 2 pi minus pi to pi e 1 minus i n x d x and this we can integrate. So, we have 
e power 1 minus i n x over 1 minus i n and we have the limits minus pi to pi. So, this just a bit simplification. So, we have 1 over 2 pi and 1 minus i n and we will get e power pi minus 1 over n because we will get e power n x that is cos n x uh, plus i sin n x. So, in that case this will give just uh, minus 1 over uh, keep 1 power of n and we have minus uh, e minus pi and again minus 1 power n. Since this e power i n pi will be minus 1 over n or we take plus or minus in both the cases we will get cos n pi plus a minus i sin n pi sin n pi will be 0 and this cos n pi will give minus 1 power n. So, in this case and this again we can write this as uh, so 1 over pi here 1 plus i n divided by 1 plus i n. So, 1 plus n is square and this sin hyperbolic pi and we have minus 1 over n. So, this f x we have the sin hyperbolic pi over pi and n from minus infinity to plus infinity minus 1 over n 1 plus i n over 1 plus n is square and e i n x. So, this is the complex form of the Fourier series of uh, a function which is uh, just equivalent to what we have seen the, the earlier form of the Fourier series. So, now uh, I would say we had uh, enough insights uh, into the Fourier series uh, with the help of uh, several uh, different kind of uh, examples we have considered in this lecture. And in the next lecture, we shall extend this idea of uh, periodic functions to non-periodic function by extending their periods to, to infinity. And in that case, this Fourier series will uh, lead to the so called Fourier integral. And so, more on that in the next lecture and thank you, goodbye.